Hello and welcome to Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. Well, hello, Miss Nikki. Hello. Out on the patio. You know what? A little change of scenery. It's about time. We wanted to come out here for a long time, but we've had a lot of issues coming up with weather. Right. And we're getting a little work done out here, but don't you like the sound of nature I, in the background? I do. I do. Now, let me tell you what's going on today. We hope we can make this show happen. It's coming. Before that big black cloud comes over. We set up today to do the show down here because summer's right around the corner. That's right. We're going to start doing some grilling. Yay. You know, the thing is, tonight's show is about beef. Now, we've seen this particular cut of beef. Let's go back to our cutting up of beef video. And if you hear animals in the background, <laughs> there are animals back there. They're very wet and muddy. Yes, they are. Why don't they go in their houses? I don't know. They like it. we got these huge, wonderful houses. And a barn. And a barn. They don't go in it. And guess what? They look like mud puppies. Yes, they do. <laughs> but here we are with this flank steak or strip steak. Now, you can see the grain in this meat. Everybody does this different. We like to marinate ours for a little while. It'll help soften that meat up just a little bit. Right. This is a very good tasting cut of meat. It can be a little hard. It can be a little tough, and you never want to cut it you know, okay. with the grain. You always go against the grain. Speaking of beef, we're going to have our own beef shortly. Yay. Take a look at here. Now, tonight, you're going to see, you're going to see for the first time, our new cow and calf. Hmm. They're coming out here. Now, the whole idea is in the real world, we know that that is part of a cow. Right. We don't make apologies for the fact that we eat meat. That's part of what we do. And it's good. People have been doing it for at least 100 years. Right, at least. So <laughs> we, are, we do eat meat. We raise sheep. We raise things. We do as much as we can here on our property. Right. And we're going to beef it up a bit. Okay. And we're going to have a cow and a calf. Yay. And I would like to, if we can, every year raise at least one calf for okay. us, maybe two. And we're going to find out how to do that in just a little while. But... We're going to try to outrun this storm. Now, we're going to make some guacamole and let it go ahead and set it in the refrigerator. And okay. it's so easy to make. People, a lot of times, to me, there's way too many onions in it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the onions are raw. So we're going to have some sweet yellow onions that we're going to put in this. And we're going to cut up these avocados. And you want to make sure they're ripe. You can tell that these are. And we're going to take these three and make a very simple, quick, delicious, fresh guacamole to have with our fajitas yeah. when they're done. Guacamole is truly easy, easy to make. And it's delicious and it's good for you. We're gonna do probably for us, you know what, let's do three. We're gonna take three avocados and make a pretty good little amount here. Now, everything we're doing, you could do this over the campfire, cowboy campfire cooking, all that kind of stuff. But tonight, I wanna have that grilled taste. Yum. I want that steak to be grilled. I'm gonna do it on a very hot temperature Okay. Because I want that steak to be tender in the middle. Yeah. We like rare. Yeah, we do. So, back to the guacamole. All right, we're going to cut, if I had to guess, that's, that's a medium-sized onion. We're going to use less than a quarter of that. Now, that's just me. I'm going light on the onions here. We're going to cut them up very, very small. All right, so we have three avocados, probably a quarter of a medium-sized onion. Now, we're going to take this mixture and some cumin. And we're going to put a dash of cumin in here. And if I had to guess, that's probably, oh, half a teaspoon or so. Now we're going to take some cilantro and we're going to put it in a food processor and cut up really fine. Good. Moses doesn't like that. Mm -hmm. Now what we're going to do, let's might as, might as well go ahead and mix everything. Let's take a tomato split that in half. Let's just scoop out the, t the seeds in the middle. We're just going to use the meaty part of that. If you used a big beefsteak tomato or something like that, it would be mushy. These kind of, the romas, which we like to can, they hold up a little bit better. Now, if you want to, go ahead and just mush that all together. Mush? I like mush. Mush it. If you will, Nikki, while I'm mushing, take a lime over there, okay. cut it in half, let's put some lime juice in here. Now at the very last, we're going to take a little bit of salt, try to spread that evenly throughout that. This looks good. Now you notice we're not measuring, we're not putting that much of anything in there, just a tad. Just a little bit of, little bit of garlic. Can I taste? Mmm, good. You like? Mm-hmm. Now that took what, every bit of five minutes? I could just eat that with a spoon. Yum. Wow. Oh, ma'am. That's really good. 
Mm. Forget making dinner. Let's mm. just get let's some tortilla chips okay. and just eat it. Mm. Oh, mm. Mm. wow. Mm. That's good. We're going to set this aside, put it in the fridge, and hope that big black cloud doesn't get us. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take and prepare our marinade. Now, this is going to be a six to eight hour process, generally. You can let it go overnight. Let's just go ahead and figure, I don't know, let's do three cloves of garlic. Let's put this in the food process okay. and make life easier on us. Lime juice. Okay. And go ahead and squeeze in there. So let's go ahead and take some cilantro, okay. a goodly amount. And let's put that in the food processor as well. And I would say, if I had to guess, how about a double handful plus just a hair more? Because I okay. really like that cilantro taste coming out of You like that too, don't you? I do. We're going to put some cumin in here. And if I had to guess, it's probably about a tablespoon of that. A little bit of salt, a few fresh green onions, I guess you could call them. How about some hot sauce? Here's something I discovered a while back. One of my favorite hot sauces of all time. We're gonna put a little tad of that in there. And this is, just happens to be cougar bait. I wanna put some of that in here. That is our marinade. Very simple, isn't it? Yeah. Nothing to it. Let's put that in our gallon bag. Drop this in. Mm -hmm. Seal it. Now, really going to give that a good shake, let it mix up. And if you're around, if you are around, you can lift it up in the refrigerator every now and then, turn it over, mix it up, let it set. But that's really going to give that a nice taste. Okay, let's set that aside. All right, you like where we're going? I do. It smells good, everything. I could eat that guac every single bite of it right I might, now. I might have to have a little bite of that while we're waiting. Well, fajitas are on their way. Guacamole's already done. We're going to marinate. But then we're going to go to Casey County, like right now. Are you anxious to meet our new members yeah, of the Yeah, I want to farm? see when they come in. Very soon. Yay. So let's go to Casey County, meet up with Todd, and talk about his particular way that he's doing cattle. All right, I'm heating up some oil. Like I want to get this good and hot. So okay. if you will, cut me up some peppers and onions. Okay. And, and just strips. Slices. Yep. I've got my grill really hot. Now, I've got it up to about 500 degrees. Now, my plan here is to really get it hot on either side. I'm not going to leave it on there that long. I'm going to put this on this really hot grill, and it's going on. Listen to the sizzle. Yum. All right, if you will, go ahead and drop that in. You want all these onions or just a little bit? Yeah, let's go all of them. Now, we've all had fajitas. We've all had guacamole, but when it's fresh and it's outside, I'm telling you, there's some magic Yum. going on. You smell all this? Yes, I do. I wonder if all my Mexican friends would approve of this. I wonder if Naibi, and I wonder if Gabriel and Geraldo. You know what? Should I'm going to have gonna have to make this for them. You should have it for dinner. See how legit we're doing here. A little chili powder, a little cumin, a little salt and pepper. Just enough to taste. Can you smell that? Oh, wow. I think my eyes water so good. <laughs> Fresh. Yum. You That's love what fajitas. I'm gonna have to do. I gotta get my Mexican friends over here. Nibi is our friend. She made cowhead tacos. Take a mm -hmm. look at this. <laughs> Take a look. Let's let's revisit our friend Nibi real quick and let's talk about uh, a show we did in the past, cowhead tacos. You so now the eyeball, what do we do with that? Did you chop it off? Okay. Set the eyeball down right there. Ah! What a rock and roll! And you just got the meat. As much as as little as you want. And you put some onions. All right. And then you put as much as lime juice and as much as salsa you want. And then we're good to go. And then you're good to go. Mmm. Oh. I do like it. Mmm. <laughs> I'm really amazed, more, more than anything, about how much meat we got out of it. Now, out of the time size? Is this a good, a normal size cow head? Small, medium, That's small. Large? That's small? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have me another cow head taco and Nikki's over there looking like she might want one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Now beef is going up. Now that's one reason we're thinking about raising our own. Plus, we know where it comes from. We know what we put in it. They're not gonna get any growth hormones. They're not gonna get any unnecessary antibiotics. That's almost done. I don't want to get it too done. I put my tortillas on the grill here for just a minute to warm those up. Okay, ready? Ready. 
Look what a wow. beautiful piece of meat. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna cut thin strips. As the rain starts to come down, <laughs> can we pull this off? I'm bringing the tortillas, which are rather warm, off the grill. This is Farmer. I could eat just this meat I like this. I hope we can pull this off. Oh, yum. Do you think we can beat the rain? Mm-hmm. Okay, drop that meat in here. Ready? Oh, the meat's delicious. Yeah. All right, let's get the, let's re-get the sizzle going. Now, again, we're just gonna toss this just for a minute because I don't wanna get that meat too done. A little more squeeze of lime. Let's do just a little more tad of salt. Okay. All right, now here's where we are. We might pull this off, Mrs. Farmer, if we rush. Okay. All right, I'm gonna fix this both one up here. Do you hear the sizzle? Yes, I do. Mm. Mm -hmm. We must hurry. You know, it, it looks dark out right now, but the reason we have lights up is because the sky is almost black. Yeah. So, guac and sour cream. Now, you could put some pico on there if you chose to do so, or some salsa. This is the way we like it, because that's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, we like it. Oh, can you smell all that mm, freshness? Mm, mm, mm. You can put a little bit more guac on mine if you like. Can I? Now look at that. Is that not beautiful? Sour cream, good. Sour cream is optional, whether you like that or not. I'd bet Naibi would tell me that that's not the way they do it back home. But, mm. oh man, wow. look what a big, oh my goodness, these are huge. big honking. Mmm. Mmm. Your meat's amazing. Mm. Oh. I think you're looking good. You can do this yourself. Something else you can do is go to our Facebook page and like it, see where we're going, what we're doing. Also check out TimFarmersCountryKitchen.com. Hundreds and hundreds of shows. Right now, seriously, we gotta go because it's black. Good times. Good friends. Good eats. Gotta go. Ah!